Hey guys, this is Android Rooted Pro, and today I'm going to be showing you how to root your Android device on version 4.12 Jelly Bean. And this is going to be the universal method. It um, does require a few more steps than usual, but it gets the job done, and it, it has been confirmed to work on a numerous amount of devices. I'm currently running on the LG F3, and it, it, it is confirmed for this. It's a uh, virgin mobile device. So the first thing that we're going to want to do here is go ahead and get started. Um, make our way to your browser, and uh, we're going to go ahead and open up this this site. I'll put the link in the description below. <clears throat> if you don't want to go ahead and copy this whole thing. So this user, go, this user um, gives all the information needed, but really the only thing that you need to download is um, Rootmaster. So right here, Rootmaster. You don't need to download Root Explorer or Super User 3.13. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do everything. So once you download Rootmaster, you're going to want to head and put it wherever you feel most comfortable. Easiest access. I put mine on the desktop. So we're going to go ahead and extract it. Just wait for it to be extracted. So once it's extracted, go ahead and open up the folder and double click on the icon. This is in, um, I'm not sure which language, Chinese, Korean, I'm not exactly too sure. But once you have it open, you're going to go ahead and click on the highlighted. It's pretty much everything that I click on, as you can see, the highlighted in blue. So click, click, click. And go ahead and put finish. And it's going to go ahead and install the drives, give it its verification. So now it's just installing, and there you go. So now that you have the program installed on your PC, the next step is to get your Android device and plug in your USB into the computer. So mine's going to be plugged in right now, and you'll see that it's uh, verifying the phone. All right, as you can see, it shows my phone model. Oops, what's going on here? And it gives me an OK that the phone can be rooted using this method. If it didn't give you an OK, if it, sh if it displayed an X instead of a check, then I'm sorry, this method isn't going to work for you. Um, you can go ahead and try it again, push root, and see if it does it again. But otherwise, um, let's just continue. So once you get the check, go ahead and click the green icon right here. And it's going to go ahead and root your phone. So what it's going to do is reboot your phone and install super user. But this is a different version of Super User. This is a, um, like I said, a foreign version. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go on my device and show you what to do from there so you can install the updated Super User from the Android Marketplace. But um, your phone should re be rebooted. And you can go ahead and click out of this program. You don't need it anymore. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go on my device. Device is booted back up. You can go ahead and um, unplug your USB from your uh, your PC port, <laughs> and you're in the, the next thing that we're gonna want to do is download three applications from the uh, Google Play Marketplace. <laughs> and the first one is gonna be Root Checker, which is on the top left hand screen, as you can see of the device. And then we have on the right, on the top right, we have Root Browser, which you're also gonna download. <laughs> and then we're gonna download the the new Super User the English version because as you can see when your device booted back up and you look into applications you should have super user but it's not the super user that we're um, that we're used to I'll go ahead and delete this so we can as you can see we have um we have a, a it's a foreign super user on the on the, the bottom right uh, with the blue shield and the and the gear in the middle if we click on it see as you can see it's in foreign uh, but it has a lot of stuff in English so you can you can keep this if you want. I'm not saying you can you you don't have you ha you have to delete it because you don't. It has a you know good features like system optimization. It has cleanup systematic applications. It has root management. It has logs just like regular super user, but you know most of it is still in foreign. And if you uh, want the you know super user that everyone's accustomed to seeing, uh, then we'll go ahead and download that and uh, swap it out. Because as you can see, this one is hard coded in there. You can't delete it. Um, but you know we, we just want to change that so we're gonna go ahead and go to the Android uh, Play Store Google Play and we're gonna download super user so go ahead and click in super user 
uh, by chains dd and we're going to install it it should only take a couple seconds depending on how fast your internet is as it's only one megabyte and so uh, see as you can see everything is just in in foreign language go ahead and clear that out so once you have the application installed as you can see you can delete it as I as you saw me delete it earlier it's not hard coded in like we would want it to so we're gonna go ahead and change that and get rid of this foreign um, uh, version of super user so to do that as I said before you should have a root browser and you should have root checker so we're got we have, the reason why we have root checker is to see if we have a, a proper a root access so in order to check this just click on verify root access and you should have the congratulations this device has root access uh, message below if it doesn't then just try to um, re-follow the steps that I showed you in the beginning but it should say this if not then just let me know and I'll try to get back to you uh, once you have this message go ahead and click out and go to the um, sys, uh, super user that we just installed the you know the one that we're accustomed to seeing as you can see on the bottom left hand screen this is a crucial step so please pay attention we're gonna click on super user so it's gonna give you the what's new okay now we're gonna scroll to the left and where it says su binary v11 go ahead and click on that now it's gonna say checking installed version go ahead and update it so it's just going to update what's going on. This is a very crucial step. Please follow this step. It's going to allow super user through the um, foreign super user, and then it's going to allow um, super user through its own, as you can see right here, super user is, request is requesting super user access. So go ahead and allow that. It's allowing itself, so that means that we're doing something right. Uh, moving Sue to its final location. If that's okay, if the 06755 is okay, if the Sue works is okay, that's perfectly fine. Uh, the remounting system as ROM, if that's a fail, don't worry, that, that's normal, that should happen. <clears throat> so go ahead and click out of this. As long as you have these three, one, two, three, okay, and this fail, then you're perfectly fine. So go ahead and click out. So once you have done that step, we're going to use root browser, which I told you to install. So go ahead and open up root browser. Now we're going to scroll down to data. Just allow. Uh, the super user request is allowing the root browser so go ahead and allow so once you clicked on data go to app and then we're gonna find the super user we just downloaded it should be right here yeah so com nashufu dot android dot su dash one so go ahead and click on it and we're going to copy it click copy so push back once push back twice and then we're going to scroll down from the data. We're going to scroll down until we find system. Okay, here's system. Click on system. Now click on app. Now paste it. Click paste. It's just going to copy it over. All right. So as you can see, pasted com. So just scroll down to the C's because it should be on com still. Okay, as you can see, it's right here. So go ahead and long press and we're going to rename it and let's just rename this. You could go ahead and keep the APK, the dot APK, just delete all this and we're going to rename it as super user, super user. Well, you know what, before I do this, let me just show you something real fast. If you scroll all the way down to super, super user, as you can see, you have the um, blue symbol installed as the ABK the foreign one but uh, we're gonna go ahead and change that so let's go back up to C I just want to make sure you guys know what's going on here we're just swapping them out and replacing it so you have the current version of the English 3.13 so we're gonna rename it as I said before go over here delete all this and we're gonna name it as super user so we can replace the foreign file super user dot APK click done click OK it should say do you want to override it click yes so that's just gonna rename it and if we scroll all the way down we should have that symbol replaced if not it's perfectly fine don't worry about it okay yeah, see it's not replaced but that's perfectly fine that's normal so now we can go back and if you go back into the system 
app applications menu you can still see it's exactly the same it's not hard coded in yet and we still have the uh, foreign which is perfectly fine so the next step is to turn off your device restart it so you can go ahead and uh, power off and restart or just restart it uh, once you do so it's going to um, upgrade the Android you're gonna see the little upgrade after your uh, boot animation you're gonna get upgrading Android and um, just let it just let it do all that and um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off mine and I'll be right back I should have rebooted again and it should have said optimized um, and then installing new applications or just um, changing applications or whatever upgrading uh, once you have done that you can go ahead and look in your apps and you can see that the other super user is gone now and if you click on um, edit you have the super user cannot believe be deleted it's hard coded in now 3.13 <laughs> it's all there so the next step that you're gonna wanna do is click on super user so we're not done yet guys almost done so once we click on super user go back to where you clicked on sue binary uh, 43.11 now it's named so click on that <laughs> okay now we're gonna update And when you saw that fail earlier, you're not going to see it again. As you can see, cleaning up, remounting system, everything's good. That was cool. Do it again. We can go ahead and do it again as many times as you want. And it's always going to be okay. And there you go. You guys are rooted with the current version of Super User. Um, everything should be fine. If you want more proof, you go to Root Checker Basic again. Click on Verify Root Access. Click on allow super user access and then you got, there you go, congratulations this device has root access. So everything should be working perfect. And if you want to go back to root browser, if you want to go, um, <clears throat> go back to the system, app, scroll down to uh, super user again, you can see it was replaced and the new icon is there. Everything's, everything's pretty much like normal, everything's great now, no more foreign crap going on there because this is America and um, <clears throat> once you uh, have this super user you can take control of uh, just a lot of great things on your phone you can um, do so many things I would recommend you downloading ROM toolbox Lite right here um, directory bind if you don't have any um, internal storage as, as I don't I only have a gig of internal storage so I can't download big games so um, I have a um, 16 gigabyte SD card, and I would want to use that as my storage, you know, as my um, direct storage for for applications. And if you need help, I'll, I'll be able to show you how to do that. It's a it's a big process I had to figure out by myself, and um, it's a um, it's pretty hard. So I'll, I can show you that in really basic steps, and you'll be able to get it just like that. And then we have you know your CPU tools and uh, just pretty much everything else, boot animations. And um, that's pretty much that. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions on what a, a tutorial I should do next, if you want to lear learn how to use Directory Bind or ROM Toolbox to speed up your your processor or you know make it more battery friendly, or if you want to learn how to do anything at all, go ahead and let me know. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial today on how to root your device. Um, have a good day. And like I said, anything else, just let me know. Remember to uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching.